According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Senator Alvin Williams, along with two of his staff members, were indicted by a federal grand jury on Thursday and charged with participating in a criminal enterprise and engaging in illegal activities that included bribery, mail fraud, and wire fraud. Two staff members of Senator Williams were indicted, including 29-year-old Kim Blackhead, his chief of staff. The recent indictments stem from a legislative raid last year in October, where dozens of federal agents investigated Senator Williams' office and confiscated his computer records. And now, over a year later, federal agents were once again at the legislature, according to witnesses, and this time Kim Blackett was escorted out of the building by federal agents. News 2 asked Senate President Ronald Russell if Senator Williams had turned himself in, and Senator Russell said he believed that Williams had done so. In a release, the U.S. Attorney's Office laid out details of the charges. According to the indictment, Senator Alvin Williams on September 5, 2009, gave the Commissioner of Public Works $10,000 in cash in an attempt to bribe the Commissioner to grant future work to Ace Development, Inc., which is the company that Williams had an interest in. Additionally, the indictment further alleges that from February 21, 2007 to November 18, 2011, Williams solicited a bribe from the developers of the Rapoon Vista housing project on St. Thomas. And allegedly, Williams promoted legislative action and supported the authorization of funding and zoning of the project in exchange for ACE development to receive a contract related to the construction of the Rapoon Vista project. The indictment also alleges that between September 1, 2008 and September 31, 2008, Williams solicited and received a bribe of $10,000 in campaign contributions from the developers of the Tutu Park wind turbine project. And in exchange, Williams would promote legislation in support of the wind turbine project. This also allegedly happened between September 22, 2008 and September 2009, with Williams accepting a bribe of $25,000. And additionally, the indictment further charges that in the summer of 2010 and in August of 2010, Williams solicited bribes to legislative staff members by offering to increase their salaries allegedly for merit then staff members in exchange would withdraw a portion of the increased salaries and make the cash available to Williams. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, the proceeds from the illegal activities amounts to approximately $1.1 million. For News 2, I'm Allison Bourne-Vanek.